Capri's um, tendonitis. So once you're going to do your acclis, there are a number of studies that's actually um, demonstrated the use of acclis tendonitis. Main points you're going to actually utilize is going to be Unibella 57. Uh, you've also got Unibella 56. So if you look at that from a trigger point perspective, uh, Yuri Bada 56 acupuncture point, but also trigger point. That will refer pain directly over this port of the Achilles tendon. <coughs> However, if you come down to your soleus, so basically you've got your tendon, so you're just going to palpate, you've got your 57, and you're just going to come just <coughs> off the side of the um, soleus here. Also, trigger point, yeah, of the soleus. What that will do is refer pain mainly down and around this part of the heel. So just take the pain to the most, the bottom end of the Achilles tendon and then take it in and around this part of the heel here. So ideally, if you're going to treat it, is to make sure you treat the trigger point. Utilize your 57 again, which is formulate the part of the tendon and make sure you utilize these points here. So if you just look at it from a needling perspective, these are points I'd normally start with. Now you don't want to be needling too deep. We knew about 56. That'd be 57. Right, now, <clears throat> once you come down to your tendon itself, you've got different options. Now, if it's more chronic, a primary objective is to increase circulation directly into the tendon. If it's acute, I won't want to be needling the tendon at all. So again, you need to make a distinction, is it acute or chronic? is the tendon, yeah? And again, is it the tendon or the tendon sheath as to what you're actually going to be treating? However, uh, from personal clinical experience and also from certain research as well, if I've got somebody with a chronic Achilles tendon, um, needling more into the tendon. So first things first is to try and find out which part of the tendon they're getting most of the discomfort. Apply pressure and you can come down the tendon yeah, otherwise can apply pressure, come down the other side of the tendon. Whichever is going to be most painful is where I'm going to focus my attention. Yeah. So let's say it's mainly more painful on the medial side. So what we basically do is initially, some um, courses we used to teach them to do herringbone and you're just going to put the needle and slot it directly underneath the tendon. However, it's been shown to be more effective of going into the tendon. What it'll get is a dull ache. So if that's my focal point as to where the problem is. <laughs> now important, push down firm on the needle. So it's not something where you're going to want to just get it in, otherwise the patient's gonna find it quite uncomfortable. So you do need to push down quite firm onto the needle and just give it a short tap. Mm -hmm. Okay, how's that feeling? <laughs> right, and then what you can do is you do one above. <clears throat> Again, push down firm, give it a short tap. And if it's insertion, it's like Right, right. Then you just do it further down. Even like close to the bone, you yeah. do it. Yeah. We like it'd be similar to doing periosteal pecking then. I mean. Again, sharp tap. So they're the ones that I've got um, going dorsally. Um, and I can do the same again into the side, coming more medially. I'll just do one of them just to demonstrate.
for you. So again, I'll just come into the side. Let's put this one here. Yeah. <laughs> so what you what you'll basically get is a strong dull ache yeah. uh, coming from <laughs> that. Okay. Mm -hmm. She killed the other okay. Okay. <laughs> 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 Pass me the sharps, please. Mm. What you mainly do is to come back. Um, I say you can either put needles in, leave it, otherwise you're just going to come and stimulate every five minutes and just give it not a thrust, just purely a rotation. Yeah, just a couple of rotations.